This is a case to success reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. We're doing this a little bit different. We're going to look at windows of opportunities around relationships, as well as around business and money. So we're going to look and see specifically what we can tell you to help you in the first two weeks of October 2018. Go look at your other natal aspects. As always, if you like the reading, hit the thumbs up. If you hate it, hit the thumbs down. In any case, you're always welcome here. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus, Keys to Success. First two weeks of October 2018 around relationships. We have Major Arcana, The Fool. I think Aries pulled the same thing. I think. The cancer may really be in a position where they have to start over, let things go. I know it seems obvious with the fool here, but I feel like they thought that they started over and they really thought that they changed their mind about their life in a way that, okay, I'm put, putting this all behind me. Uh, they, they feel like they've been here before, but they haven't. I feel like they will have more of an opportunity to really clear the air and they will have this type of exuberance where, where they really realize they are starting over. They are starting over. It will just hit them in the first two weeks of October that every possibility is open to them now, especially if they were hurting from a relationship that was lost a while ago. We have Major Arcana, the Empress. Uh, yeah, I feel like a lot of Capricorns can, uh, what am I saying? Cancers, a lot of Cancers can be in a situation where they're feeling quite relieved and pleased in the first week of, weeks of October. I don't really feel like it's around anyone in particular, but it could be. You guys saw that. Ten of Cups. I'm not even pulling for here anymore. We're supposed to be moving over here to business and money. But it seems to be that there's a quite piece of quite good piece of uh, information coming to the cancer in the first two weeks of October that make them feel like everything is open to them now. The path has been cleared. Delays are removed. Uh, somebody's ready. They can also hear that someone's ready for this or ready, ready to move, ready to move forward. They have the Ten of Swords. Keep going, guys. Don't don't back out because I know what this means. You might think you know what it means, but it, it's actually quite good. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. Now we have the the King of Pentacles. I feel like the Cancer's way is being cleared for something. Uh, at work, a contract could have ended that they were not interested in carrying out anymore. A partner can have agreed to something that they had initially disagreed to. They're getting their way. The Cancer is getting their way in the first two weeks of October 2018, I think a key to success in both of these areas is uh, make sure that you aren't arrogant about whatever this is. Make sure you keep your feet on the ground about this positive turn of events. Just keep your feet on the ground and you'll do just fine. You know, if you're bragging, brag to yourself in a mirror and just smile. Not to other people. I don't know why they came out. Because something really good is going to happen for the cancer. At work, it can be a, something that came through that was lost to you before. That's an opportunity promotion. Something that you wanted that was lost to you before the possibility comes. I don't even feel like you have to compete for that. It's like just there. We have the Queen of Wands now over here with relationships. We have the Five. I'm going to keep this up here because it just came out. That's the Five of Pentacles. 
you to keep you success for cancer the first two weeks of October 2018. And we have the, oh wow, so we have the ten of, ten of swords, ten of cups, and now the ten of pentacles. Okay, so I've been doing this on some of the readings. If you would like to know a key to success for dealing with the Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the first two weeks of uh, October, if you would like to look for a favor, now would be the time. Cancer is feeling quite positive, and it seems that they've had a, a quite positive turn of events in their life. They're feeling quite generous. Um, so now would be the time to come forward to ask for assistance or to ask for any type of support. A key to success for the cancer is to take it in your stride. To take it in your stride, to tuck back any benefits that you get, uh, put it in the bank, save it, keep it. Um, don't run out and, and spend or shop. I don't know what that's about. Just enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment, Cancer. As long as you can, stretch it, enjoy it. Savor it. Savor the moment. For work and money and business. For Cancer, we have the Eight of Cups. I'm going to pull a few more over here because there's something odd over here. And we have the three. This was in reverse, but I don't re-reverse. We have the three of swords. I haven't seen that card in a long time. There's something really odd here with business partnerships. So cancer can be losing a business partnership. Somebody can be really moving on, like moving on, moving on, or just wanting to buy the partnership out, or the cancer can be in a position to buy out a partnership, to buy out a contract, to end a contract that they did not want. And if you're the cancer, you can also be in a situation where you're able to get out of a contract. We have the queen of cups. You're able to get out of a contract uh, that you wanted to get out of. But you have to play cool somehow about it. You can't, if the offer is put before you or someone talks about it, don't you say, yeah, 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 I want that. I wanted that. I wanted that for a while. Play cool. Like, oh, it can be interesting. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's make an appointment. This will serve you better. We're going to pull two more and then we're going to close out the reading. Keys to success in relationship for cancer. We have the Eight of Pentacles, last one. That's for relationships. Yeah, I'm kidding. I've always done it this way. You know, it's something about being calm and quiet about some good news that's coming to you or a good performance, um, not acting so surprised about it. I'm not sure what that means or how that translates, guys. Just play cool about this. Final one. We have Major Arcana, the Emperor. I'm going to leave that as the final part of the reading. The key to success for cancer for the first two weeks of October. It's very clear to me that you should play cool about whatever is coming down, not making any big reactions, not making any big moves, just playing it cool and taking it in your stride before you react or agree to anything. That's for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you for joining me, guys. I'll see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.